Zambief's interim revenue increased 20% to $153 million, but on an adjusted pre-tax profit basis, the group recorded a decline of 7%. That was due to higher than expected increases in overhead costs. And for more, we're joined on the line by Yusuf Koya, who is Executive Director of Zambief. Uh, good afternoon, Yusuf. Lots of numbers there. Perhaps you could give us the highlights from your perspective of your numbers, and then we'll go into a couple of the details. Sure. Uh, good afternoon. Yeah, as we published our results this morning, we believe those results show an initial indication of the positive impact being made by our recent investment program we've been carrying out over the last 18 months, largely in meeting consumer demand, reducing supply constraints, increasing capacity, and improving efficiencies. Whilst most of our divisions have performed well, the standout performers in the first half were the cropping, edible oils, and stockfish divisions. As you rightly point out, first half revenues grew by 20% to over $153 million. Growth margins also increased from 35 to 36.3%, and this resulted in an increase in our gross profits by 24% to over $55 million. However, our profit before tax did reduce by 7% to $8.5 million. This was largely due to overhead cost inflation, higher interest costs, and the depreciation of the quartier. But despite this, and we can talk more about the costs, but despite this, we do believe we are strongly positioned to deliver further strong revenue and profit growth and remain on track to generate a cash inflow in FY 2013. Pleasingly, this first half, we did generate a cash inflow of $2 million, and we expect it to build on this in the second half of 2013. Well, you so, yeah, not, not a bad set of results. Yeah, let's, uh, let's have a look at some of those costs. Obviously, when revenue is up by quite a big amount, but uh, the, the pre-tax profit is down, uh, looking at some of those costs, the minim minimum wage, statutory minimum wage, power and fuel yeah. increases, finance costs, depreciation, how much of that kind of cost increase will happen again next time? Well, obviously, um, the minimum wage came in last year. We didn't have a full year last year, so the impact of the full year on the minimum wage is being felt this year. Um, the higher interest costs are not likely to persist moving forward. Last year, the higher interest cost was due to increased working capital relating to the soya beans buildup at our edible oil crushing plant, uh, Zamanita, which was shut down for nine months to carry out the huge upgrade and expansion, which was completed in September 2012. So obviously, we had to carry a very large um, stock of soya beans. The quarter depreciation, well, obviously, that's something that's a tough one. Obviously, that's not in our control, although recently we have, tried, we have um, begun to switch more of our dollar debt into quarter. So hopefully, that exchange risk will become less and less. Um, but the second half, we do expect further upward pressure on costs. Um, the removal of fuel subsidies in April and the increase in fuel costs obviously came through after the 31st March. So these, these are likely to impact further on costs. Yeah, and uh, also the, the Zamchik, uh, the sale of uh, Zamchik to Rainbow, which of course is a big uh, brand name in South Africa. I mean, chicken is one of the big uh, takeaway foods. It's one of the staple foods in Africa. Why was it a good thing to sell that? Well, obviously, I think we announced this, and I was on your program when we completed the Zamchik transaction. Rainbow is one of South Africa's most well-known and preeminent chicken producers, and they bring with themselves a huge amount of expertise, track record, and knowledge in mostly the value-added chicken range which in Zambia is actually um, severely lacking, but there's a big market. So this is higher margin value business, which we can ride on the back of the expertise of Rainbow. More recently, about a week ago, we announced another partnership with Rainbow, which was the establishment of a hatchery and breeder farm operation. So we hope this partnership will actually go a long way towards um, unlocking the potential that is in Zambia for chicken and hatchery and day old chicks business. And obviously Rainbow, um, they've been doing this for a long time. So they, they are, especially in the, in the technical expertise area, 
where they do have um, they do have that track record in South Africa.